Morning everyone. Right, I'm going to show you how to make one of these, which is the coin envelope. And they are so, so easy to do. And you could do them any size. But this one is quite easy to do. And all you need is an A4 sheet. Right, A4 sheet, fold in half. Like that. And if you just want to, I mean, you can just slice it in half if you want to, but all I've done right now, just to show you how to do this, is to do it really quick because I'm lazy. <laughs> take your piece of card, so you get two out of this one of, of that size. So you take your piece of card, you then fold down the flap, which it depends how big you want the flap, to be honest. And then what you do is you turn it around and you fold that flap in to there. So there's no measuring involved really. As long as you get your flap, then the, your coin envelope depends on how what's left. And then what you need to do, you need to score it. So I'm just using a ruler. I'm not bothered, you know, let me just move my card down a little bit so I get the score line right. Okay. So, just take a tool, anything that uh, you can score with, I just use these. Score at one end, and roughly do about a centimetre, to be honest. Like that. So that's your piece, that's your flap. And then what you need to do is you take off, just snip the corners there, you know, in that crease. And you take off the bottom section. Just cut that off. Now Raymond's gone to the car boot this morning to see what he can find. So no doubt I'll do another video when he comes back. So there you go, you've got that flap like that. Then you take off the top section here like that. Just snip it out. They're so easy to make of these without measuring. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape mine like that. You could round them off or whatever you wanted to do, but I'm just shaping mine for now. And then you need to snip out the corners like that. So you've got a V-shape. Okay. And they don't have to be exact. Clear away that. And that folds up. Like that, make sure you've got it. I don't know whether I've quite cut that the right size. Just a minute. Okay, so you fold that up. You fold that in. And then you fold that section in. What you can do is, um, I sometimes don't like these as long. I just like them slightly trim it. And then I use my little punch. Uh, which doesn't always want to work, I can tell you. Look, mine's catching. But I'm just showing you what to do. So, like I say, then you've got that so you can grab out whatever you've got in there. I personally like to put the flap on the inside for neatness. And then that on the outside. And hey presto, you now have a coin envelope. And they are so easy to make. And um, so I'm going to show you just to... Put the tape on there. I mean, you could use it. Where's my glue? I'll use my glue, I think. I often use my glue pen. It's probably set mine. Oh, it's all gone up the other end. <laughs> <laughs> Told you mine's probably set itself. Let me see if I can get this glue out. I keep forgetting. Oh, I've lost me. <laughs> lost the needle. Oh, chuckle, 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 chuckle. Where's my needle? Mm. Pull it out with my teeth. There we are. I think it's coming out. You can use tape. Oops. See? See what a blooming mess I make. But I'm just showing you how to put it together. Like that. Never mind all that. Wipe it on there. 
and that's how you do it and get your coin envelope. Like that. So like I say, they are so easy to make. And um <coughs> You can make yourself a batch of them, you can decorate them up, whatever you want to do with them. Like that. If you do them the width of the tape, it's much easier you can do that. And like I say, you can make yourself a whole batch of coin envelopes. Like that. I need to trim mine down, don't I, so they're all matching. But there you go. Simple and easy way to make a coin envelope. Um, let's see about this one. We'll do it that way now. You don't need to make a long envelope. Fold your A4 page in half. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut that off because I'm going to make a smaller one. I mean, I do have a die for cutting um, envelopes out. I like to make my own because you can do what you like with them. So right now, I'm going to do this one. So we fold that, which is my flap, uh, which is the pocket itself. That is the flap. These are so easy to make. Right, again, we score it. Okay, and I've got my flap here, this is the top piece, so I need to take that bit of the pocket out. I then need to shape that, but you could round it. I'm going to just cut it for now. Maybe not quite deep enough, that. And then we take out the middle bit, of course. On this end as well. Okay. And obviously, I'm going to get a different punch to that. I'm going to use my half punch here, my uh, oval punch. Like that. See? We've got that type of opening. And then, like I say, you just do that. And that side but we need to take this snip these off so I hope you can see this and it's just so easy to make envelopes sit and make yourself a batch that's the best thing to do I'm gonna fold that in because I like I said I do like that on the outside to um, it makes it just look neater just gives it a neat finish okay and just do that like that and there you go you've got a nice envelope so like I say just try them